The damaging impact wind can have on unsecured rooftop pavers is dramatic. But every day, we have conversations with architects who are unaware of the risks, or after being presented with flawed research, believe they've found an adequate solution for securing pavers. Let's take a look at how wind uplift is created and the impact it has on roof decks, whether coastal or inland, high rise or low. Because no one wants to see 100 pound pavers hurled from the tops of multi-story buildings. And that's exactly what can happen when unsecured or inadequately secured pavers meet the powerful uplifting forces of even modest winds. Wind generates an uplift force as it comes across rooftops or other horizontal areas of a building, creating direct positive pressure against windward walls and negative pressure or suction on leeward walls. Variables such as building location and height, surrounding buildings or terrain, parapet height, and whether the wind hits a side or an edge of a building all affect the nature and strength of this pressure. When high-speed winds curl over a rooftop, the airflow creates a swirling, low-pressure effect above the roof surface. These forces are strongest at the corners and along the roof's perimeter. Understanding and combating these uplift forces requires detailed technical research on these specific issues, not generic studies of unrelated products or from wind tests in only the most basic of conditions. For our work, we rely on research conducted in partnership with Dr. Gurma Bitsumlak, Associate Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Western University and Associate Director of the Windy Research Institute. Using this testing, let's take a look at how wind uplift forces play out in hurricane conditions. In Category 1 hurricane conditions, the rooftops of low and high-rise buildings might just remain unscathed. In wind speeds around 100 miles per hour, similar to a Category 2 hurricane, we start to see paver movement and a fluttering effect where rooftop surfaces are most susceptible to failure along their corner edges. When speeds are dialed up to Category 3 levels, upwards of 110 miles per hour, rooftop pavers are at significant risk of movement and failure due to uplift pressures, especially on a high-rise building. In major hurricane conditions like a Category 4, catastrophic damage to homes is common and commercial buildings are no different. Failure along the corner edges may begin to create a domino effect, ripping pavers closer and closer to the middle of the roof. In Category 5 hurricane conditions, the worst of the worst, roof deck systems that do anything less than locking down every single paver on a rooftop will fail causing heavy concrete pavers to fly dangerously through the air. So what are architects to do, with building codes rarely providing proper guidance for high rooftops? First, know the risks. The dangers of wind uplift are most severe on high-rise buildings in coastal regions. But that's not the only place they're a factor. Consult an expert. Knowledgeable engineers and manufacturers can help you navigate the complex challenges and variables to find the right solution for your needs. Don't take chances. There's no replacement for safety, and the safest, most reliable prevention for wind uplift damage is to adequately secure all pavers on your roof deck.